Welcome to Studio, designed to give you more control and flexibility when uploading your tracks. This process is now more streamlined than ever, helping you create, manage, and monetize your music effortlessly. Let's take a look. But what's different with Studio? Instead of complex forms, you now follow a simple four-step process. We've also added two new features. Review Submission, which lets you review all the information you've entered regarding your track, and a visual cue that will appear once you've successfully entered all the necessary information before proceeding to the next upload step. The first step to upload your music through Studio is to make sure you upload the proper file types. These can be untagged MP3 or WAV files, tagged MP3 files, and trackouts or stems. Pro tip, looking for cover art? Take advantage of our Canva integration. Click Edit Artwork to design and import directly from Canva. It's important to maintain consistent branding across your uploads so your audience can easily recognize your music. Now that your files are uploaded, let's move on to the next step in the process, metadata. This part is crucial for helping your beats stand out. In this section, you'll be familiar with the fields from Marketplace, but Studio has some upgrades. You can still add three tags and have the ability to fill in genre, key, and BPM. Next, you can define the mood your beat fits into and list the instruments used. This detailed information helps your track stand out because many artists filter their searches by mood or specific instruments. For example, if your track has a chill vibe or features guitar riffs, you'll want to add chill as its mood and guitar as one of the instruments. Pro tip, finding the right tags is all about discovering your niche. Use Spotify to help identify relevant tags for your beats. For instance, you can search for a popular artist whose style your beat resembles. We'll use Gunna for this example. Scroll down to the Fans Also Like section and identify an artist with a smaller following. This is key for tapping into niche markets. In this case, let's use Young Nudie as the second tag. Now repeat this process for the second artist. Scroll down to Young Nudie Fans Also Like section and you'll find another relevant artist like Chavo for your third tag. This strategic tagging not only gets you into the highly relevant category, but positions you early in the artist discovery game. Here's a time saver. Use the new Autofill Metadata button at the top right of the screen. We'll analyze your audio file to suggest values for all fields except tags, which still need manual entry. Next, let's talk about adding collaborators to your tracks. If you've worked with another producer, you can easily manage publishing and revenue splits right here. Just be sure to finalize the revenue splits based on your agreement with your collaborator. In some cases, publishing percentages are divided equally, unless otherwise agreed upon. Here's a pro tip. If you've been invited to a collaboration, check your notifications in the top right corner of your studio dashboard. If there's no notification, head over to the collabs section in your account and filter for invitations. This is where you'll manage any pending collab invites. Now, let's set the prices for your track licenses. But before you lock in a price, think about your goals. Are you aiming for your first sale, boosting overall sales, or maximizing earnings per sale? Who's your ideal customer and what's their budget? Aligning your strategy to your goals and understanding your target audience will guide you toward the right price points. You can use tiered pricing to offer multiple licenses at different price points. For example, providing high quality WAV files and stems at a higher price. This approach lets you cater to various budgets while maximizing your revenue potential. Want to boost your sales volume? Try bulk pricing strategies like buy two, get one free. This not only encourages impulse buys, but can also lead to stronger customer loyalty and repeat business. Discount pricing is another powerful strategy, especially if you're looking to drive up sales volume quickly. Offering limited time deals can create a sense of urgency, prompting buyers to act fast. Free downloads can help attract new customers while allowing you to collect valuable contact information. On BeatStars, you can require users to exchange an email or follow you on social platforms in return for a free download, making it a win-win. Additionally, any beats that you make available as a free download will also be available in Voloco, meaning thousands of more artists will have visibility to your beats and will have the option to purchase them within the marketplace. Another crucial step for pro users is registering your tracks with Content ID and more. This enables your beats to be tracked across platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. If someone uses your track without permission, a claim is automatically filed. Additionally, your tracks will be included in sound libraries on Instagram, 
Facebook, and TikTok, allowing influencers and everyday users to feature your sounds in their content, entitling you to earn revenue from their use. Pro tip, be sure to register your tracks through Content ID and more during the uploading process before they're downloaded or purchased to ensure control over your intellectual property, your tracks, and prevent others from claiming ownership first. Once you've set your prices, reviewed your metadata, and finalized all the details, click Publish Track to make your track live in your store. And just like that, you are now ready to launch your beat and start selling it on BeatStars. Thanks for watching.